Hello, good afternoon and welcome to a new vid. And today I'm out on my XSR 900 or Velocity Moto 900LC. And I've just taken the bike for its three year service and uh, get its first MOT, which is passed. I had to have a reflector on the back. Unfortunately, it's the hottest day of the year so far and about 35 degrees here at the moment. Roosting. Yeah, so the demos they've got in, got an R7. They've got an Aprilia Touareg. They've got a Motor Guzzi V7. They've got an MTO 7 and they've got a Tenere 700. Uh, none of which they seemed keen on uh, me taking out this morning while I waited for my uh, bike to be serviced. I did ask if uh, the uh, had a courtesy bike while uh, mine was being done but uh, sadly I'm not. I would have had to have said I'm definitely interested in buying one of those bikes to have got to go on a demo. So, uh, oh well. And you can't pre-book there a courtesy bike. You don't do them. So guys, let me know. Does your dealer do a courtesy bike? Do you get offered a courtesy bike when you take your bike in for servicing? Because that service and MOT has sent me back uh, about £325. And I basically spent the morning just up the road in Starbucks waiting for it to be done. It's not exactly close to home. I couldn't, couldn't get home without getting a taxi then coming back again. Slightly disappointing but I used to have a, uh, a quite a good relationship with the uh, the old manager Paul uh, at Arnold's and uh, every time I used to bring my bike in for a service he'd say well what bike do you, uh, do you fancy, what bike do you want to take out and try and uh, if you've seen on this channel any Yamaha bike that I've tested that doesn't belong to me it's come from there and it was it came from there because uh, you know I was positively encouraged to take a bike out while mine was being serviced and uh, obviously different people come and go and uh, the sales guy there wasn't interested at all in uh, letting me out on one I suppose if I'd have been yes I'm really really interested in buying this that's what would have happened but anyway I'm not gonna whinge I've had the morning off work it's a beautiful beautiful day and everyone's saying on the uh, the news it's Armageddon that it's this hot in uh, in England it's gonna get to about 42 degrees today and tomorrow up to 42 degrees but in all honesty I've ridden in temperatures nearly as hot as that on trips down to uh, Spain and uh, southern France and uh, I think the bigger problem is that uh, we'll, is the infrastructure here uh, isn't set up for really really uh, hot conditions very few of the shops have got aircon hardly any hardly anybody's homes have got aircon and uh, you just have to make the best of it don't you, you close the windows and stop the uh, sun heating your house up as much as you can and uh, they say it's not going to get below 25 or 26 degrees in the evenings over the next few evenings I'm not sitting in that queue Certainly hot when you come to a standstill and you're wearing a black gear. Helmet's black, my jacket's black, jeans are dark. 
but this Alpine Stars jacket is fully mesh. It's great when you're on the move. So many people like that guy there uh, choose to not ride with protection. I know it's a fine line and I know it's freedom of choice. You're allowed to do what you like as long as you're wearing a helmet. But the consequences of having an accident with zero protection on your arms, I mean, he was just bare armed. And uh, I've got Kevlar riding jeans on and I've got uh, a jacket that uh, although it doesn't offer the top protection like a leather jacket would, but look at that. You know, it's just, it's just rife. Everybody's just out in the bare minimum of, well, there's no protection, it's a shorts and t-shirt. I see the joy of being able to ride and, and cool off just in a shorts and t-shirt. I have done it in the past, but I'm pretty sure now I think I'd rather park the bike up than ride in shorts and t-shirt. I don't want to preach, you know, free, you know, it's everybody's own choice how uh, how they ride their motorcycle, isn't it? And I'm not saying you've got to have all the leather gear on or anything, but you know, a nice mesh jacket or a mesh shirt even, like from Knox, which are you know, there's not much to them, but they've got protection, and you, why not get yourself something like that? Oh dear, more traffic lights, no! As you can see from the roadside, the grass is looking very, very parched. And for someone like me, who makes his living from contract mowing, it's not a great sign. should be heading straight home not playing around in the heat on my motorbike but uh, so I have got work to do but come down my favorite little road near Chilcot now our uh, national weather surface and met office issued what they call a red warning for extreme heat. I know this much, it beats the hell out of it raining all the time in this country. Tell me in the uh, comments section below, what's your position as far as riding gear when it is this hot? And I'm talking 35 degree centigrade now. Well, that's about where we are at this moment. Are you all the gear, all the time? Like me, uh, wear uh, probably less protective gear, but you've still got arm pads, shoulder pads, back protector in, and a mesh jacket. What do you think? Yeah. Take your time, you'll be fine in shorts and t-shirt. Freedom of choice. Also in the comments section, let me know what your experience with the main dealer servicing is. Do you get offered a courtesy bike when you uh, book your bike in for a service? Do you ever get offered a, uh, a demo bike? Anyway, I'll uh, just pull over and give you a look round uh, my XSR at three years old. Look at that wheat field. Combine's going to be in that in a bit. It's definitely a turning right. I'm not surprised in this heat. Yes, this is my three-year-old XSR. 
900 that had the Velocity Moto kicked on, and uh, that's the company there. And of course, this bike now is based on the uh, the old model XSR 900, and there's a new one that looks completely different. So you can't really have a new bike with this kit now. But Velocity Moto is now doing a kit based on the XSR 700, which looks really nice. Very different to this, more like the YPVS. So I'll put a few pictures up there, let you have a look at that. And uh, recommend you having a look at Lamb Chops rides. And uh, I'll put a link up somewhere over there to the video that, uh, that he did riding the 700. Looks a really, really nice bike. But it's all holding up really well. Paintwork, nothing's fallen off. Admittedly, I haven't ridden it that much. It's got under 5,000 miles on it still at three years, which is pretty low. But uh, I do all my touring miles on my MT-10, so I'm lucky enough to own, own two bikes. Still love the bike. I think it looks great. I know uh, the uh, two-stroke aficionados maybe not so keen on it, but uh, I own the uh, RD 250LC back in 81, loved it, and this is a lot less trouble to look after. Probably not as thirsty either. <laughs> You're certainly not using the, uh, the two-stroke oil. I better go home, get some work done. Thanks very much for watching the video. Really appreciate it. Only a short one this week, but uh, uh, hopefully catch up with you on the next video. Bye-bye for now. Cheers.